Ashley doesn't tolerate this. Ashley doesn't. They should be that. Here, yeah, they should be able also to know that here, yeah, messing around with Ashley's peace. Ashley doesn't tolerate this. So if I do this, I'm playing around with her peace. And if I play around with her peace, they should actually say, they should actually. welcome back to my youtube channel if you are here for the first time you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome i appreciate you guys and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for showing this girl some love thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i can't thank you enough so on this episode of life with ashley we're gonna be talking about seven steps towards self-love yeah we're gonna be talking about self love how to appreciate yourself how to make yourself feel good how to put yourself first how to you know you know what we do we know what we do just make yourself feel fabulous without no boys no men no just you a you we're gonna be talking about you and me how you can improve yourself like yep so let's dive right let's get right into it so step number one to self-love is setting boundaries when we set set boundaries we are respecting ourselves we're giving ourselves space and showing others how we want to be treated and thus achieving showing others how we want to be treating and that's setting a tone to people on on the ultimate way you should be treated but initially boundaries are there to protect you to protect your interest to protect your feelings like to protect yourself from any any harm any harm out there like this is the line like drawing a line between you your feelings and the rest of the people you as a person you come first step number two is recognizing when you need a break yes they say a much deserved day is essential for your mental health and your physical health, Danny. You have to take time for yourself. Like, you don't have to feel bad about it. No, it's just time for you. Like, create like a schedule for yourself. Take time for yourself. Because they say, like, you cannot perform at your best when you feel run down and bent out you should find the, you should try to find a balance between work and rest like differentiate like there should be a balance between work and and rest and if you're in school you should find balance between school and resting like when you need a break whatever break it is if you feel like you're in a toxic area and you just want to let go like you need you you realize you're tired you really want things you want to wear things out you want to wear off things it's okay it's fine it's, it's it's actually fine you can take time for yourself like do you take time for yourself pamper yourself you know what i mean take yourself out like that just know when it's toxic enough leave when you feel like it's weighing you down that's a sign it's time for you to leave it's time for you to do something new like take a break pause you have to pause like pause keep quiet like then breathe and proceed it's essential like it's it's helpful you need you actually need that so after you've recognize after you recognize that you need 
a break you need to take a break the next step is letting go so our third our third our third our third point towards self-love is letting go when you walk we are walking away from anything like letting go is walking away from anything that that is at your detriment like walking away from anything that is at your detriment will make you will make way will make way for for many blessings that you deserve so by walking away you are allowing yourself you are giving room for new things to to flow into your life new things to come into your life like you're giving your paving way for other things that were block you were blocking without you realizing that you need change so when you uh, identify that you need change you pave way for blessings like new things you pay away for new things to come into your life and which is good so letting go paves way for good things letting go paves way for new things letting go brings change into your life and letting go gives you time to breathe it lifts out and it lifts uplifts a burden and you actually feel good and there will be less stress less drama number four we're gonna be talking about people pleasing girl boy the moment you realize that you cannot please everyone no matter what how hard you try you can never please a person truth is is that you cannot please anybody the moment you accept that then we're good the moment you realize that then you're good because what's right for you like you might try no matter how much you try to please someone in the sense that you feel like this thing is right what's right for you might not be right for the next person might not be right for the next individual so and on and like honestly that's okay that's okay that's fine for you you feel like it's right you're not wrong in in your own opinion you're not wrong nobody is wrong it's just not okay with the other person and that's fine you just need to accept that and do you just completely do you with compassion with open communication and high moral standard you don't have to feel bad about it because everybody is different we don't all act the same we act differently and we should embrace how different we are so yeah no matter how hard you try you can never please a person and once you know that you actually you you'll be able to know that you just have to do you and you realize your self-worth like you realize i'm not worth sticking around for this rubbish i'm not worth doing this i'm not worth you see it's okay it's fine you just need to no so number five number five maintain your mental and emotional health like your well-being 
should be a priority like it should be number one on the list but even though it's number five here yeah, on self-love in real life it should be number one be it fitness therapy reading medity meditation <laughs> be it meditation whatever that keeps you calm clear motivated focused you do that it's actually help it's actually helpful for your well-being it helps trust me it makes a difference and you begin to appreciate yourself more you actually begin to see yourself you begin to see yourself in a different light you begin taking your time for yourself for your emotions for your health by doing the exercises it actually is helpful like with your well-being it helps you to appreciate yourself to love yourself to embrace yourself to feel confident in yourself Number six, protect your peace. Protect your peace. Nobody should mess around with your peace. Nobody should mess around with your peace. As individuals, as people, we adapt to our environment, our conscious and or our subconsciousness. So what and who you surround yourself with whoever where you down or where you up so honey child choose wisely your friends your people that you just hang with people in your inner circle people you want to put you bring closer to your heart they shouldn't mess around with your peace they shouldn't come into your life anyhow they should come correct you should set a tone like we said before they shouldn't deprive you of your peace you should feel at peace with them they should be like no Ashley Ashley doesn't tolerate this. Ashley doesn't. They should be that. Here, yeah, they should be able also to know that here yeah, I'm messing around with Ashley's peace. Ashley doesn't tolerate this. So if I do this, I'm playing around with her peace. And if I play around with her peace, they should actually say, they should actually respect your peace. People should come into your life and you, you should, you also as an individual, you shouldn't be now just like it's okay it's okay it's okay no darling you can only say it's okay for so long you can only say it's okay for so long if now it's a it's a pattern people are just stepping on your toes stepping on your peace cut them loose it's toxic it's poisonous at the end of the day you are the one that's gonna be feeling bad and now you feel like you now start questioning your worth. You're now like, you see, you feel yourself, you start feeling yourself like you're, you're less. You feel less of yourself. So, self-love, if you want self-love, if you want to achieve self-love, if you're working towards self-love, protect your peace. number seven the last one the last but not least we are what we consume what we eat becomes a part of us it affects our mood our energy our focus our confidence etc even people people that we bring into our lives they affect our mood our energy our focus our confidence so please make 
what you consume a priority yes you can enjoy life you can eat whatever you want you can bring whatever but make you a priority so basically all i've been saying from step one to step seven is control is equals to self-love if you're able to control you're able to achieve self-love so if you're able to control you're able to achieve self-love so i will run down the steps again one set boundaries two recognize when you need a break three let go four stop stop people pleasing five maintain your health and emotional well-being six protect your peace seven we are what we consume so basically controlling these seven factors that i listed and not only limited to these seven factors you are they are the steps towards um self-love yeah and that's it thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed making it and see you guys on my next video bye